Dr. Jeremy Weiss here. I'm founder of InspiredInsider.com where I talk with inspirational entrepreneurs and leaders and how they overcome big challenges in life and business. Today I'm excited to have we have Eric Martell. He's co-founder of Eat Street. Eat Street's an online. Hey, Eric. Hey, thanks for having me, Jeremy. <laughs> Great to have you. You know, hailing from Madison, Eat Street is an online food ordering service. It was founded in 2010 in Madison, Wisconsin, Go Badgers, by Matt Howard, Eric, and Alex Weiler. The company has quickly expanded to over 10,000 restaurants in over 110 markets nationwide, and they have 100 employees. Eat Street hosts over 6,000 restaurant websites and has partnered with Yelp to include online ordering on Yelp review pages. Eric, thank you so much for taking the time. Absolutely. Happy to be here. So, Eric, obviously, this is Inspired Insider. So, I want to ask you know, when times are tough, what do you think about personally that motivates you to overcome tough times or challenges? Sure. So, uh, hands down, it is my parents, and I've had to have a lot of conversations with my parents during the tough times. Um, my dad uh, basically uh, came from a family that hadn't really gone to college before, and my dad knew that um, in order to uh, go to college and be able to afford it without coming out with a tremendous amount of debt, he was going to have to work really, really hard. So. Yeah. He uh, he was running 15 miles a day back in uh, high school in order to wow. basically make the track team here at the University of Wisconsin. Um, at the same time, when he got to the University of Wisconsin, um, he found himself in the middle of the heap when it came to his own team, and so he had to learn a dose of humility after uh, you know kind of being the superstar up until then. Um, Likewise, my mom uh, has this uh, consulting business uh, when it, uh, for agricultural commodities um, that she's built over the course of 20 years, but um, really the majority of that success has come in the last several years. So she also is one that has had you know extremely high points, but also the low points of like being frustrated with the growth of the business, wanting things to go more smoothly than it actually has. And um, so really going to both of them is great because they both accomplished great things and um, had to work really, really hard for it. And they've also had a tremendous amount of setbacks. Um, so having conversations with them and like having relatable experiences has been really, really uh, fantastic for learning to be very comfortable with myself, comfortable with the business's growth, and yet hungry and competitive to always do better. Yeah. So at one point, you said you went eight months without traction, and then mm -hmm. you called your dad. Yeah, well, and that was, uh, you know, that was just a conversation where he picked up the phone and he said, you know, I, uh, I kind of expected this would happen. Uh, that was my dad talking. He said, you know, uh, these things don't ever go the way that you planned on them going. But uh, personally, I, you know, have been in scenarios in the past like that as well and um, when I uh, when I got to the University of Wisconsin you know I wasn't uh, you know quickly crowned as like kind of the king of the track team uh, but over the course of you know my four years of work you know I went on to be the captain and um, that uh, you know if you stick through it no matter whether or not you actually have like the tangible success you learn a lot along the way and he said you know a lot of the people that I met during that process became my best friends for life and in the same way you know these are experiences that you're going to be able to take with you for the rest of your life for better or worse mm -hmm. and I mean that meant a lot to me again uh, just like sort of knowing you know somebody as close as my dad had really been through a very similar scenario of coming in with one set of expectations getting something else and then you know things tend to work out when you work really hard but uh, either way you learn things yeah. so yeah Eric, I just want to be the first one to thank you. It's been really valuable. Everyone check out Eat Street, and I really appreciate it, Eric. Absolutely. Thank you, Jeremy. Thank you. Have a good one. You Take too. Take care.